video is titled um, Self-Denial um, from New Life in Christ, Discipleship, Online Material, Manual, New Life in Christ, number 21, lesson number 21, titled Self-Denial. It says, as Christians, we have two natures. To grow in Christ, we must learn to say no. <laughs> what the heck? To the flesh, amen, to the flesh. The old nature and say yes to Christ who lives within. Again, as Christians, we have two natures. To grow in Christ, we must learn to say no to the flesh, the old nature, and say yes to Christ who lives within. Some of you may be saying it's easier said than done, and we all agree. <laughs> we all agree. If we're going to be honest, you all agree. We all like, I just had an amazing breakfast, praise the Lord, and probably ate more than I should have, but it was, it was amazing. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Okay. All right. Galatians chapter. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all picking my teeth. Please have mercy on me, guys. God is having mercy on me, and uh, I pray that you guys would too. Hi. Right. Okay. Galatians 2.22 says, I have been crucified with Christ. Amen. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And life, the life which now I now live in the flesh, the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So we are to love him and give ourselves to him too. That, that's I'm getting out of that verse. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 says I broke my I broke my uh my handle this morning. I'm making breakfast. Uh, okay. Ephesians 4 22 to 24 says that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt no bueno according to the deceitful lusts no good and that you put on the new man which is created according to God amen in true righteousness and holiness you, you notice here that it says that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to deceitful lusts. So that's because that's what the devil does. He likes to deceive us, and then throw, and then um, and then so that way he can we can get the demons of unclean spirit demons, and then and then he's then he's laughing, and he he, he he can go on to the next person and jack up. So that's his unclean spirits are. Uh, it's not just lusts of like sexual lusts. It could be could be just the lust of the of wanting to eat too much or just does so much stuff. I'm not going to really get into that because this is not my study. This is theirs. So uh, Luke chapter 9 verse 23 says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, anyone, you, me, let him or her deny herself or himself and take up his or her cross daily and follow me. What do you learn about self-denial? Is the study guide number one question. Well, I learned about self-denial that um, it has to be done. <laughs> it has to be done. It has to be done because God says it has to be done. Um, memory, memorize Luke 9.23. Um, says that if you want to desire to come after me, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. What does this verse mean to you? It means that there's conditions to every everything in the world. 
If you want to get a, a hamburger from from burger, from McDonald's, you, you can't go to Burger King and get the burger. You got to go to McDonald's. If you want to get a burger burger from In and Out Burger, you got to go to In and Out Burger. You can't go to Heaven Burger or wherever burger burger it is. Uh, we have to do God says we have to do it a certain way. We got to do it a certain way. Yeah, there's no way around. The Bible says there's no way around to get the fence. There's no way around to get it to get to Jesus we have to go through to God we have to go through Jesus which is means we have to deny ourselves we gotta go whatever it takes man get get there you know get there get where you need to go get where you need to get to get Jesus to get God to receive the Holy Spirit how can you apply its truth in your life well you guys know me already on these videos we need to do what the word says <laughs> amen so with that being said deny your flesh Pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Amen. If you want to see victory in your life.